Hello and welcome to the ERP Agile Solutions course, also known as Live 4. My name is Bob and I am part of the SAP HANA Academy. In this video we're going to be using the SAP HANA Studio in the form of the web-based development workbench to build a view that is needed for when we do the predictive piece within the Live 4 project. This view is going to tell us the current inventory for all our products in all our stores. So let's log into our web-based development workbench as that Live 4 user. So what you'll notice is here I'm using the web-based development workbench instead of Eclipse. Most of the tasks you can carry out in this project can either be carried out by Eclipse or indeed the web-based development workbench. So let's recap what we did previously. So in the first few videos, we loaded data from an ERP system, four tables using HANA Cloud integration for data services. So there's a schema called Live 4, and it should consist now of the MACT, the MARD, the T001W table, and the VBAP table. These are the tables we loaded with HCIDS um, from an ERP system. Next, we wanted to demonstrate how we can use SAP HANA to connect to remote systems such as Hadoop. So what we did then did was we connected to a Hadoop data lake which stores weather information given to us by the EPA. So what you should have done in those videos is load the data lake AQI humidity pressure temperature and wind um, virtual tables using um, smart data integration. Because the Hadoop system might not be online when you're running through this project or course, I also showed you how to import a local version for 2014 of that data. So each data lake should have an associated underscore local table. The next series of videos in this course showed how you can load geospatial data for the US so you can perform some geospatial queries. So Jamie and the team showed you how you could load those tables in a separate schema and then how you built this T001W underscore WS table. This is what we're calling the weather station table. This indicates each of, for each store the nearest weather station by its lat long and the specific temperature, humidity and also the air quality index for each of those stores. In the last video then Jamie built another view if I go to my view section called sales per location per product which showed you how to combine the data in the Hadoop data lakes with the data from your ERP systems into one single query. This query is going to be used by the predictive piece which follows this video. Now we need one more video to help Phil go through his predictive pieces within this project. So we need to build a view called product inventory. It's very simple to explain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a new SQL console. And again, if you go to your Kit, GitHub repository and do a search for SAP HANA Academy Live 4, you'll see that we've got a SQL file called productinventory.sql. Notice that you'll need to use this one, not product inventory predicted, because Phil's going to cover that later on after he's covered how predictive works in HCP. So I'm going to open up this product inventory SQL file. It's very straightforward. I'm going to copy the syntax, go back to my um, SQL console and paste it in. So again, assuming that you've created the Live 4 schema, and assuming that you've got the table called MARD, as you can see here, which contains all our inventories, all we're going to do in this table is essentially for each store and for each product, we're going to output the inventory at the end of the year. So that's why we're just casting. This is the actual most important columns are the Verks column, which shows us the, 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 the store or the plant. The material number, which shows us the product ID, and then we're combining any inventory and outputting it as an integer to give us the inventory. So all I actually need to do is execute that C select statement. It will create the view as you can see here. And now if I just expand my list of views and refresh, 
we have that product inventory and if I open the content this is what it looks like. It's quite quick, of course, because it's running on the MARD table, which resides in our HCP system. Remember, that was the table loaded with HANA Cloud integration for data services. So now that we have the view, which is product inventory, and we also have the sales per location per product view, which combines data from our data lakes, weather information, as well as data from our ERP system, we can now move to the predictive piece. So in the next few videos, Phil from the team is going to show you how you can implement a predicted algorithm in order to help you predict possible inventories. All of this will be done within the SAP HANA Cloud platform. In addition to the Live 4 course, please check out the many HANA videos that we offer on our YouTube channel.